Hello friends, it's Kalpesh Jani and I'm very glad to address you people via this medium of video presentation. Friends, you know that our country is passing through a very critical situation right now of COVID-19 and we are in a lockdown state right now and you must all be at your home. So it is my at attempt to address you people via this medium so that you can prepare some of the important topics of your syllabus at your home during this time. Uh, the topic that I have selected is the topic of thermodynamic potentials. Though we have taken this topic in classroom, but I feel that some of the ideas presented in this particular chapter are very crucial and uh, must go through uh, again and again to grasp it very well. So it is my attempt to uh, include some animations to explain this topic uh, very well, the animation that I developed during this time. So let us uh, go through this topic of the thermodynamic potential in this session. And uh, I hope that you will like this video. And uh, you, if you have any doubt, you can contact me via the electronic medium. Uh, so let us start this topic. Uh, now friends, let us have uh, first some historical information. This term actually thermodynamic potential was first used by Perry Duham in 1886. And then after this term got popular and uh, it was popularized mostly by the research paper of uh, J.W. Gibbs and these two persons, Perry Duham and Gibbs, uh, are the persons who did the pioneering work in this field. So now let us go to acquaint ourselves with the different type of the thermodynamic potential. So let us straightway start with the term thermodynamic potential. We know in classical physics the term potential. Uh, by the potential, the, by the concept of potential, we mean that it is a dormant energy stored in any physical system by virtue of which the system can do mechanical work. And now, when it comes to the thermodynamic potential, the term thermodynamic tells that it has something to do with the thermodynamic system. So, grossly, we can uh, define the thermodynamic potential in the following manner. The thermodynamic potential is a form of potential energy, but this energy is different from the classical idea of potential. Now what it can do by virtue of this energy thermodynamic potential, a thermodynamic system is able to do these three things. First, it can do a mechanical work. Second, it can do a non-mechanical work and third it can exchange heat with the surrounding so it when we talk of thermodynamic potential we are referring to the energy of the thermodynamic system by virtue of which the thermodynamic system can do the mechanical work it is an ability of the thermodynamic system to do mechanical work some non-mechanical work and exchange of the heat now mechanical work uh, is a very obvious thing the system thermodynamic system doing mechanical work but what do we mean by the non-mechanical work so here the non-mechanical work refers to the change of the potential energy of the constituents of the thermodynamic system so non-mechanical work has something to do with the change in the potential energy of the thermodynamic system. Now, uh, this potential energy is the classical potential energy that we have that we have just referred to. And third, the exchange of heat is also an obvious thing for the thermodynamic system. So there are several thermodynamic potentials. Now, all these thermodynamic potentials uh, are not able to do all these three, but some potentials do mechanical work by virtue of the thermodynamic potential the system 
uh, acquires an ability to do mechanical work uh, plus non-mechanical work some may do only uh, exchange of heat plus some non-mechanical work so there are several combinations uh, of these three uh, things which they can do uh, and there are several thermodynamic potentials also so we shall start by overviewing the types of the thermodynamic potential that we have to study in this chapter in the next slide so let us now acquaint ourselves with the several type of the thermodynamic potential that we have to study in this chapter the first thermodynamic potential is very important one and a very fundamental one and you have a bit information about this type of thermodynamic potential in previous chapter also and that potential is the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system this is denoted by the symbol capital U so as I have told you that this is a very fundamental and important thermodynamic potential because all other thermodynamic potentials can be derived out of this thermodynamic potential and you have also studied uh, this type of thermodynamic potential a little bit in the previous chapter when you stated the first law of the thermodynamics uh, that was uh, referring to this uh, internal energy of the thermodynamic system the change in the internal energy of the thermodynamic system so you are aware of this type of thermodynamic potential a little bit but in this particular chapter we shall define uh, it in a more rigorous way we shall refine our ideas of this uh, thermodynamic potential and derive an equation uh, which expresses this type of thermodynamic potentials mathematically so the next thermodynamic potential that we have to study is known as the enthalpy of the thermodynamic system and it is denoted by the letter capital H now these thermodynamic potentials are mostly used in the chemical reaction processes uh, we shall see all of all these thermodynamic potentials one by one later on so let us now first uh, uh, get acquainted with the third type of the thermodynamic potential which is known as the ham holds free energy and it is denoted by the letter capital F in some books it is also denoted by the letter capital A now the four, third type of uh, thermodynamic potential is known as the Gibbs free energy uh, I'm sorry it is not third but the fourth one uh, and this Gibbs free energy of the given thermodynamic system is denoted by the latter capital G so these four uh, thermodynamic potentials are very fundamental and important thermodynamic potentials the fifth one is known as the Landau grand energy thermodynamic potential which is denoted by the latter uh, symbol Greek symbol Omega or Phi so let us now go uh, through these thermodynamic potentials one by one starting with the very important and the very fundamental thermodynamic potential of internal energy of the given thermodynamic system as I have told you friend that this thermodynamic potential the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system is a very fundamental one and very important because all three other thermodynamic potentials the Helmholtz uh, free energy potential the enthalpy and the Gibbs free energy thermodynamic potential all are derivable from this uh, thermodynamic potential the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system uh, actually all other thermodynamic potential are just the legendary transform of this particular thermodynamic potential so let us start overviewing and uh, learning the first thermodynamic potential the internal energy of the thermodynamic system in great detail now what is the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system what do we mean uh, when we say the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system uh, how can we define it so this is a gross definition of the uh, internal energy 
of the thermodynamic system uh, we can define it as composed of two parts the first part represents the potential energy uh, that the thermodynamic system uh, possesses now this potential energy that the thermodynamic system possesses is because of the potential energy energy associated with the constituents of the given thermodynamic system and the next part is the energy retained with the thermodynamic system uh, because of the heat transfer from outside so this internal energy of the given thermodynamic system can be showed as composed of two parts the first part being the potential term and the second part being the energy which is retained with the system uh, from outside the heat supplement from outside so now let us uh, go through these two uh, terms these two contribution from these two parts uh, for the given thermodynamic system now let us start with uh, understanding the first part of the internal energy of the given thermodynamic system and it is nothing but the potential energy associated with the thermodynamic system now when i say potential energy uh, it is the energy uh, which is associated with all the constituents of the thermodynamic system in a potential form so let us take first a thermodynamic system here i have taken a thermodynamic system of gas a gas is filled in a container and you can see in the slide uh, in an animation that all the constituents of the gas is constantly moving at a given temperature and pressure inside the container colliding with the wall of the container as well as colliding with each other now let us try to define the potential energy associated with this thermodynamic system now as i have told that this potential energy is the energy which is associated with the constituent of the thermodynamic system so we shall have to go at the level of the constituent first to see what the potential energy associated with it so we shall zoom this system and see the con constituent which is nothing but the gas molecule so we shall zoom first the system up to the uh, atomic level to see the individual gas molecule which is uh, constantly moving inside the vessel so here we have come to the atomic level and we can now see in the slide the molecules of the gas moving constantly inside the vessel colliding with each other colliding with the wall of the container now we can see that these gas molecules are made of two atoms uh, this is an exemplary only uh, i have shown this molecule molecule as made of two atoms of the same species now these two atoms uh, with which the molecule is formed is bonded with some chemical bond and these two atoms are constantly having a rotational and vibrational motion too so now let us find out the potential energy associated with this molecule of the gas so let us now take the individual molecule and as i have told you that it is made of two atoms of the same kind and these two atoms are bonded with each other uh, with some chemical bond so the potential energy that is associated with this molecule molecule that we are referring to is the potential energy is the energy which is expanded to form this molecule so some energy must have been expanded during the chemical process when the molecule is formed and it is stored inside this chemical bond so the potential energy that we are referring to with associated with this molecule is this potential energy and now we shall show this potential energy associated with this uh, molecule by this term mu so this mu is the term which shows the potential part of the uh, system uh, when we calculate the internal energy of the system 
so this is when when i say mu1 it is the uh, potential energy associated with first molecule the this is the mole, one molecule and the second one will have the potential part mu2 and mu3 mu4 and so on and so forth so all these molecules will have some uh, potential energy associated with it now this potential energy is not only the energy of the chemical bonding between the two atoms it also uh, includes in it the interaction which is not elastic interaction which is due to the rotational and vibrational motion of the two molecules when they uh, collide with each other some change in the potential energy of them also occur and that is also included in this term mu so each and every molecule will have different value of potential energy so we shall have mu1 mu2 and so on and so forth now when there are n uh, atoms included in the, the given thermodynamic system and this number n is very large which is not somewhere around 10 raised to 19 or more uh, per centimeter cube so we have to uh, include all this potential term together so when particular uh, molecule to n molecule how can we show the total potential energy associated with this thermodynamic system we can show this potential by this summation so we add all the potential term from first atom to the nth atom and we uh, take addition of all the potential term so this is how we calculate the potential part of the given internal energy of uh, thermodynamic system now let us uh, take the other part now let us uh, calculate the other part of the internal energy and as i have told you that this other part of the internal energy is made of the energy which is retained with the system uh, by the supplement of heat from outside so let us uh, go and see what does it mean